the thing in the window. That thing has been there for almost a week. The figure in the window. It looks featureless, only skin on a human frame, and it's got itself pressing against the glass somehow. I don't know how it got there, and I don't know how to get rid of it. At first I thought it was a prank, a doll or a mannequin that some jerks put there to scare me. But I realized as I walked out of my house to pull it away that it wasn't there. I shrugged it off, thinking that someone had hidden it while I was talking through the door. But I, I went back in and looked out the same window, and it was looking in, staring at me. I walked around my house, yelling for whoever it was to come out, but no one was there. The thing is, Harold is naked and it, it didn't look like it actually had eyes, or even a face at all. But it, it, its head is turned towards me when I entered the room. When I sit on my computer, I, I can feel its faceless hatred boring into my neck. But when I turn around, it's innocently turned in a different direction. Finally, on Thursday, I try to open the window, but it's stuck. I think the thing's hands are keeping it down. But I, I gotta look at its face. Its eyes and mouth are behind the skin pushing outward. It stared at me, smiling. Of course, I screamed. I pulled back a fist and smashed it into the glass, determined once and for all to get rid of the glaring monster. I know I'm strong enough. That glass should have cracked, but it didn't. It shot it under my hand, but it didn't break. And that smile just got wider and wider and wider, until I thought his head would break in off. He raised his own hand and bashed the window with his palm, who was mocking me. When I saw the faintless crack begin to appear what it had hit, and I backed away. No way did I want that smile in the same room as me. So I got a roll of duct tape, and I started covering the window. I couldn't look directly at it. I nearly shit my pants just knowing it was watching me. But I couldn't help it. I took a quick glance at the skin-covered face. A small peak. It was angry. That grin was now a gaping frown full of teeth. The skin had ripped away from its mouth, and I could see... I could see down its cavernous throat. A menacing rumble started to fill the house, and that hairline crack began to spread like glittering eyes. I pulled down the duct tape. The rumble stopped, the split skin healed over, and it began to smile again. Now it's night, and the noise hasn't started again. There are no sounds, no rumble, no crackling glass. Everything's quiet now. I can feel its claws gripping the back of my chair. I can hear its skin stretching as it smiles. It's watching me type.